Hello everyone, Yumi Chan here with another video, and today's video is an art supply haul. And uh, I apologize if the audio sounds a bit weird. I decided to try something new. I am recording the audio on my computer with my headset instead of using the audio that comes with the camera. So let me know how this is. Let me know if you guys enjoy this a little more. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, let me give you a quick warning that not all of this will be used as art supplies. And uh, I'll explain to you guys this once I get into it. And we're going to start with the tiniest package here. This is Strathmore Bristol Paper Smooth Surface, which I've used before, so I already know how this is. I enjoy it for my final pieces. Um, that's what I usually use when it comes to doing final pieces in Copic markers or Prismacolor markers, whatever markers I use at that point. Here's the thing that is different. Artist trading cards. These are uber tiny. And the reason that they are uber tiny is because they are meant to be trading cards. And so what I'm either going to do with these is I'm either going to create a mini tarot deck or I'm going to create um, trading cards for each of my characters, whether it be in my main universe or my side universes that I have. So I'm going to do that or the tarot cards. I'm thinking more of the trading cards for the characters since these are smaller. Um, I am going to get the bigger ones maybe for tarot card. I haven't decided yet. So, yeah, that is what I have gotten in this little package here. Now, I ordered these off of Amazon, and they cost me... Hold on a second. Why? Stickies. They cost me, they cost me. I'm on Amazon right now, so... Returns and orders. They cost me a whooping $3.67 Canadian. The next thing that I have here is washi tape. And it is actually my first time buying. This is a pack of 16. It cost me $17.69 Canadian on um, Amazon. It's by Ubex. And um, these are going to be used as art supplies and as... Um, And as non-art supplies. And the reason that I say this is because these are also going to be used in my book of shadows. To hold up information and to make it, you know, cute and pretty. Because Did they child proof this on me? I don't like things that are child proofed on me. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Um... Is because I, I like things to be aesthetically pleasing. So I went with, there was quite a few of them on there that you could um, get. I, I went with the ones that had the gold on it because that's what appealed to me. And I've never used washi tape in my life. So I was thinking I would also do some art with these as well. And uh, they're really strong. Ooh. So there's a variance of big rolls like this. This one has flamingos on it. Oh, I get it. I get what they did. Okay. There's a little cellophane wrap here that kind of... There we go. So, there's that little cellophane, whatever you want to call it, that holds it together so it doesn't unravel. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Um... There's the big rolls, and there's also little rolls, which is going to be nice in size variances. They're really nice looking, too. I really, really like them. So I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Now, I've never used these before, but I think they're going to be nice in art pieces, and I think they're going to make nice little things, and it's going to be fun exploring with these. And they're going to look nice in my Book of Shadows. I was thinking more dark colors for my Book of Shadows, but uh, these appealed more to me. 
than the other ones for yeah I'm pretty happy with this um, if you guys don't know what a book of shadows is is basically a book where a practicing witch would put all their information in it of what they have learned either from spells or just um, learning new information or whatever they would want in it um, now move on to the next one which is the Strathmore Art Journal which is mixed media paper and there's 64 pages in it I paid this is the pro art version I guess um, it's an 8.5 by 11 inch sketchbook I paid $35 on Amazon um, it is more expensive than what I normally spend when it comes to sketchbooks I usually get the spiral ones I wanted one that would lay flat so this is it and uh, this is from the 500 series by the way oh oh that's not a main page okay um, I, I did open this one because I wanted to see what it would look like and uh, I wasn't impressed by the initial page. I didn't realize that was a cover page. <laughs> so the paper is actually really nice. It looks, it feels exactly like it's a little bit thinner than my Canson paper that I normally use. A little bit, but not by much. But it feels like it'll be able to hold um, ink and Copic markers fairly well. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now here's the thing. This is not going to be a sketchbook for art this is actually going to be my book of shadows now I will paint something on the cover that represents my me and everything on it how and I will record that process when uh, I get to it however once that is done you guys will not see the sketchbook anymore because it will be pl it, 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 it was going to have sacred information in it and things that only I would like to see. So take a good look because this is the last time you guys are going to see it after I do my cover on it. But uh, I'm really happy with the quality of this. So that was my art supply haul. Not a very big one. I don't do them very big because I'm a pretty broke person and I don't have a lot of money to spend. So when I do buy myself something it is literally um, because I absolutely need it at that point so I'm thinking that the next art supply haul is gonna have a mix of a printer and probably Copic markers because that's what's needed I'm not sure yet we'll see and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this art supply haul. Uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, that's it for today. Ciao! Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. You are listening to a pre-recorded outro. Um... If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button, as well as the bell to be notified. And if you haven't already, make sure you head on over to my Ko-fi, where you can buy me a coffee. Still working on those rewards for you guys, don't worry, it's still in the works. It's just trying to figure out what would be best to offer to everyone that supports me. If you haven't already, make sure you head on over to my Twitch channel, where I live stream every Saturday. Now, I'm not going to make a promise, but I am trying to get back on track on it. I know I've said this before. Um, just things happen on Saturdays where I cannot uh, stream, but I'm going to try to stream either the Saturday or the Sunday from now on. Um, and if you would like to own your own piece of art from me, either a custom print or a commission of your own character or favorite character, you can always email me at yumichanstudios at hotmail.com where I would be more than happy to work with you. That's it for today. Yumi Chan here. Over and out.